As every beer commercial ever has pointed out, friends make life better. And that's even truer when you want to watch certain movies. Because you need someone to scream with, someone to grab during the scary parts, and someone to call at all hours when nightmares wake you up in a cold sweat. So find a friend and gather your loved ones close, because here's a look at some movies you should never watch alone. The Ring Despite the decidedly dated piece of technology at its center, this movie about a haunted videotape has actually become more acutely unsettling since its release more than a decade ago. Back then, you'd have deliberately put the tape in your VCR and press play. But since the advent of digital media, you could end up watching the whole accursed horrifying thing on the internet before you knew what hit you. It's a rickroll that ends in death. Plus, if you watch The Ring, you have also by definition seen that video, so... The Descent Down we go further into the rabbit hole of blood-chilling terror with the aptly titled adventure horror The Descent. It tells the tale of a few adventurous younger women gearing up for a spelunking trip in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. But everything goes sour when they drop into the cave, with no way out. Bathed in pitch-black darkness and surrounded by warped humanoid creatures known as crawlers that are hungry for flesh and blood, the women are forced to fight their way out of the hole. And just like a cave expedition, watching The Descent is something you should never do alone. The Woman in Black Daniel Radcliffe plays a baby-faced barrister who uncovers a sinister secret in this historical horror movie. The whole thing features a creepy gothic mansion, an old-school grudge, and a vengeful ghost with an uncanny gift for convincing children to kill themselves. So, you know, not really something you should check out by your lonesome. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned haunted house story to give you the heebie-jeebies when you watch it by yourself. But the woman in black raises the stakes by imbuing every creaking door, every warping floorboard, and every ordinary household object with a sense of freaky foreboding. Even if you don't end up spotting the femme fatale from the title in a Victorian veil lurking in a corner, the shadowy walk through your dark house after watching it is one that you won't be able to make solo. The Babadook Written and directed by Aussie triple threat Jennifer Kent in her directorial debut, The Babadook centers around a mother and her son, stalked by the creepy thing in the movie's title. A pop-up monster book named Mr. Babadook, who threatens multiple murders if anyone denies his existence. If you're a really clever one and you know what it is to see, then you can make friends with a special one, a friend of you and me. Following a series of febrile seizures, violent hallucinations, insomnia-induced blackouts, and acts of physical aggression, all caused by the Babadook, Amelia and Sam try valiantly to vanquish the beast once and for all. One of the scariest films in recent memory, the Babadook isn't one to catch alone. Don't breathe. An opportunistic break-in goes terribly wrong in this film by Fede Alvarez, as a trio of small-time teen crooks try to burgle a blind man who turns out not to be quite as easy a target as he originally appeared. The tables turn almost instantly, leaving the would-be thieves trapped in the dark, unfamiliar house where a misstep or cough could bring their death, and Alvarez keeps the tension at an unceasing fever pitch for the full duration of the movie. Poltergeist more than three decades after its original release, Poltergeist is still a who's who of terrifying tropes. Ghosts reaching out through the scrambled signals on your TV, man-eating trees lurking outside your window, evil clowns hiding under your bed, and a portal to another dimension casually stuffed into the closet. And no matter how long it's been since you first saw it, Poltergeist still makes even the most cookie-cutter suburban tract house feel like it might be full of otherworldly threats. Without a friend by your side, you'll be too creeped out to continue on. It Follows The acclaimed horror darling It Follows sparked a new wave of smartly scary flicks, and understandably so, as it's a film unlike any other in its genre. Directed by David Robert Mitchell, this movie takes the teen slasher genre and completely inverts it, replacing gore with an overwhelming constant sense of dread and impending doom, while slyly commenting on the whole sex will get you killed message in so many traditional teen murder thrillers. It Follows strings you along leaving you sweaty and skeptical but wholly satisfied, and will follow you long after its final scene. Antichrist 
Charlotte Gainsbourg and Willem Dafoe star in this experimental horror flick, which divided both fans and critics thanks to its twisted narrative, obscure plot, and viscerally disturbing sexual content. Entered on a couple grieving the death of their son, the movie starts out with a graphic sex scene and delves into some serious dark places, as it explores themes of motherhood, misogyny, and sexual violence. Not for everyone, or maybe anyone, and is certainly not to be watched alone. Deliverance a bromantic river rafting trip turns into an all-out, life-ruining nightmare in this classic from 1972, starring John Voight and Burt Reynolds back in their heyday as chiseled leading men. Deliverance was a multiple Oscar nominee the year it was released, which makes it a damn fine movie by all accounts. But thanks to that scene, film bus, you know the one, it makes for damn uncomfortable viewing. Like a trip down the Kahulawazi River, the narrative journey of Deliverance is one better taken with a few close friends. The Human Centipede There may never be another body horror film as thoroughly, utterly repulsive as a human centipede. Except maybe the Human Centipede sequels, which are just like the Human Centipede, but somehow grosser. In this first entry in the series, a demented scientist kidnaps three people and surgically attaches them, mouth to butt, to create the Human Centipede from the title, a procedure touted in the movie's promotional materials as 100% medically accurate. Despite a broad consensus that the Human Centipede is profoundly disgusting and lacking in all respects except a unique premise, it's still rated decently with critics. But much like its central, monstrous surgical creation, this movie just doesn't work as a solo undertaking. Lake Mungo this underrated Aussie horror flick is a suspenseful slow burn from start to finish, as it tells the story of a family consumed by grief in the wake of their teenage daughter's death. It's sharp documentary style and with lots of creepy tension stemming from barely glimpsing threats of unseen things that go bump in the night. Lake Mungo spends nearly every one of its 89 minutes building to an incredibly freaky climax that will scare you half to death while also leaving you with many, many more questions than answers. Hard Candy before she earned raves for playing Juno McGuff, or walked through walls as Kitty Pride in the X-Men, Ellen Page cut her teeth on a very different kind of role. Back in 2006, Page played the sadistic, iron-hearted Hayley Stark in Hard Candy. A 14-year-old who has victim written all over her at the start of the film, Hayley quickly turns a table on Jeff, the 32-year-old photographer and probable predator she met on the internet. After inviting herself to his home, she drugs him and tortures him in a series of brutal scenes that seem to go on for Forever. Between its killer suspense and dark subject matter, Hard Candy isn't a comfortable viewing experience, but it's ever so slightly more bearable if you have a companion to share the bad vibes. Unfriended if ever there was a movie best to watch with half a dozen of your closest pals, it's Unfriended. Six teenagers on a group chat find themselves being picked off one by one by an unseen, Skyped-based entity that might or might not be the ghost of their dead friend. Unfriended is an original horror story for the social media age, and it's definitely meant to be a group experience. Feeling extra bold? Make it a virtual get-together and watch it with your besties on a Google Hangout, and hope that nobody experiences any, um, technical difficulties. Green Room If you thought the other movies on this list were intense, you haven't seen anything like Green Room. An all-out raucous horror picture framed around a dimly lit hardcore punk show, this film skirts the edges of torture porn, but spins towards absurdity with elements reminiscent of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, zooming in on a keen portrayal of what the punk subculture is all about. The band at the center of the story is The Ain't Rights, featuring the late Anton Yelchin as the bassist Pat, and Ali Ashorkat on guitar as Sam. They open their set list with a cover of the Dead Kennedys' Nazi punk's F*** Off, and later find the body of a girl backstage stage. Realizing she'd been murdered, the members of the Ain't Right attempt to notify authorities but are themselves attacked by a group of neo-Nazis, led by the chillingly evil Patrick Stewart of all people. I think they're smarter than you! If nothing else, this is a movie all about the value of doing your research before making your set list. Mama what can compare to a mother's love? Well, that's exactly what the Guillermo del Toro-produced movie Mama aims to answer. Starring Interstellar's Jessica Chastain as a hesitant but well-meaning Annabelle, and Game of Thrones' Nikolai Costa-Waldo in a double role as a financially devastated homicidal Jeffrey, and his grief-stricken twin brother Lucas, this supernatural flick delivers both a myth buried in maternity and a whole truckload of scares. From the shadowy figure that lingers over Lucas's two feral young nieces, to the final reveal that's equally as haunting. This film is definitely one worth watching. Just, you know, not alone. Ex Machina 
Robots and red lights and rebellion, a true triple threat in the world of sci-fi. You've likely heard of this Alex Garland helmed film, or at least seen Oscar Isaac donning a full beard and tearing up the dance floor. Don't be fooled by that unexpected moment of humor though, Ex Machina weaves sleek sci-fi with scathing psychological horror, warning of the possible dangers of sentient artificial intelligence and what can happen when you give humans more power than they deserve. Garland makes his directorial debut with this film, which also stars Isaac Star Wars The Force Awakens co-star Donald Gleason, as well as the newest Lara Croft, Alizia Vikander. But you wouldn't know that a movie this good could be anyone's first. Ex Machina is sinister and spooky speculative fiction that feels uncomfortably close to reality. You'll likely never look at a piece of technology the same way again after giving it a watch, so it's best to have someone by your side to remind you that yes, humans do still exist. And no, you don't have to fear the toaster. What's that? Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.